Okay, now we want to talk about uh, responsible leadership. Now, when we talk about responsible leadership, there are three areas that I wanted to touch on. The first one is authentic leadership, second, ethical leadership, and then we will talk about servant leadership. Yeah. So, what is actually uh, responsible leadership and what is actually authentic leadership? Now, uh, when we talk about authentic leadership, these leaders are leaders who know who they are and what they believe in what they believe in and what values do they, do they actually uh, they, uh, accept and they, act, they, and they act based on those values and belief openly and very candidly. They are very natural. Yeah? So their followers consider them ethical people and trust these leaders uh, as a result of being perceived as being ethical. Now, uh, research uh, has indicated that authentic leadership especially when shared among top management uh, of organization, create a positive and energizing effect yeah? that would actually create teamwork, increase team productivity, and improve team performance. Now, subsequent to that, when we are authentic, then uh, what we want to talk about is ethical. Ethical leadership, yeah. So ethical leadership. What is ethical leadership? Ethical leadership talks about lead leaders who are able to influence not only their followers, but also spread all the way down to the organization structure. I mean, everybody, because these top leaders set expectation and expect lower level leaders to behave along an ethical guideline. Yeah. So leaders. Uh, rated as highly ethical, tend to be very positive. And uh, they are very positive and they are evaluated very highly by their subordinate, who most of the time will be very satisfied. And these people, these team members, will be very committed to the job, as well as experiencing less strain and uh, turnover uh, intention. People who stay, they do not want to leave the organization. Yeah, so ethical leader can change norms, organizational norms, the way they, we, the, the way the organization do things. Yeah, one reason why employees or team member engage in more, I would say, OCDs and CWBs is because their perception of whether each is equitable, fair. Yeah, uh, and then so that yeah, the OCDs yeah are perceived as more equitable, being fair. Yeah? Ethical leaders are being seen as fair. Now, ethical leaders also increase group awareness of moral issues, increase the extent to which the group is willing to speak about ethical issues. Is it right or wrong? And raise their level of empathy and concern to other team members. Now, um, research also found that ethical leadership will eventually reduce interpersonal conflicts. Yeah? A have effort has been made to combine ethical and charismatic leaders uh, leadership into an idea of what we call socialized charismatic leadership. These are leaders who convey values that, uh, uh, that, that are uh, centered, yeah, the value centered uh, versus self-centered. Need to say we talk about the masses, not about himself. And and who will be a role model and in, in what we call ethical uh, ethical conduct. The next one uh, that we want to talk about is servant leadership. Now, now in servant leadership, there's uh, uh, scholars. Yeah, scholars has recently considered ethical leadership from a new angle by examining what we call servant leadership. Now, servant leaders goes beyond. Yeah, go beyond their own self interest and focus on opportunity to help their team members or followers to grow and develop themselves. They do use power to achieve ends. They emphasize on persuasion or influencing. Characteristic behaviors in, uh, for these servant leaders include ability to listen, ability to empathize, ability to persuade, and they accept stewardship or leadership and actively developing followers, their people potential. Because civil uh, leadership focus on serving the need of others, yeah, research focus on outcome of being a well-being, the outcome of the well-being of the followers. 
do they get benefit eh, from servant leaders? Now, when, when we talk about the benefit, what are the effects of servant leadership? Uh, a study of managers, eh, uh, managers and general managers of a restaurant in the United States and over 1,000 of their employees yeah, found that server leaders tend to create a culture of service, which in turn improve the uh, restaurant performance about this company and enhance employee attitude and performance by increasing their identification with the restaurant. The what is it for me? They feel the belonging. Second, uh, there is a relationship between server leadership and followers that appear to be stronger when followers are encouraged to, uh, to focus on being dutiful, responsible. Third, server leadership increased the potential of a team. Yeah? A belief that your team is above average and are able to perform, which lead into higher level of the performance. Fourth, a study uh, with a nationally representative uh, sample found higher level of uh, ownership né, of the of the team ownership yeah, associated with a focus on growth and advancement, uh, which in turn was associated with high level of creative performance. So in, in a way, servant leadership will be more prevalent né, and uh, more effective in certain culture. Yeah? Uh, in the US, yeah? in the US, uh, when asked about leaders or civil leadership, uh, we talk about leaders who is in the forefront, who lead, giving orders, and people listen to them. Whereas in, 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 uh, our, in our culture, yeah? uh, leaders uh, tend to be at the back of the group uh, more uh, active, more together, a group opinion and understand them, and then try to unify, uh, to unite people from the back. Yeah? So each culture, each culture will have a different, I would say, behaviors when they actually demonstrated what we call servant uh, leadership. So I will leave that for a while, all right? And I actually, some of you have read this, and I hope actually. Uh, you, it will be beneficial for you to, to understand the subject matter and we will actually uh, focus on uh, other discussion later on.